Right now, we're going to show you how to create an expression set in Face Where Retargeter. An expression set is essentially an optional second part of the character setup process that you only need to do if you're using auto solve. If you're only using pose based retargeting and not auto solving, you can skip expression set creation with no issues. An expression set is a list of poses or expressions that you create on your character rig so that AutoSolve knows how to animate the face. As you can use pretty much any rig with Retargeter, you need to specify what the rig is supposed to be doing and how it's supposed to look with regards to specific shapes, and the software combines that information with the tracking data to generate the AutoSolve. We have our Victor rig here, and as you can see, we're in the character setup window and have already added the rig controls to each group. Now we'll select our expression set tab. This tab and everything in it will be entirely blank if you haven't already added the controls in the control setup portion, so just keep that in mind. You can see this list of the expressions we'll need to create. Each one has a corresponding frame number, and that's the frame that we will create the given expression on. There are 45 facial expressions in total, plus a few head rotation expressions, but we're not worrying about those for now. Uh, to start, you can see that I have set my scene to be 45 frames long, 0 through 44, because of the 45 expressions we're going to create on each frame. You can see that I've already selected all the controls that I'll be using. So I'll begin by going to the first frame, frame 0, and make a key on all those controls. You can see it was created here. Then go to the second frame, make a key, and repeat for all 45 frames. This is very important because when we make the actual expressions, we only want animation on the controls that specifically influence that expression. For example, if we make an eyebrow up expression and there's some animation on the mouth, then whenever the eyebrow goes up, the mouth will move. That's obviously not desirable. Setting a default frame on every frame on every control that you're using will prevent this from happening as it forces each control to be in its default position unless we specifically choose to move it. This is actually the most common reason that people get weird or undesirable results when using autosolve. So it's very important and something to keep in mind. So remember, set a default key for all the controls you're using on every frame. Now that we have our scene set up with the scene length being the amount of expressions and a default pose on each control on each frame, we're ready to go ahead and actually create the expressions. The expressions are simple, things like blink left, jaw open, ooh shape, etc. We'll get started and make the first one, which is eye direction, look left. When we click on it in the list, and this applies to all of them, we automatically in the scene go to the frame that's associated with the given expression. So if I click on eye wide right, it'll go to frame 7. That's just something to keep in mind while you're working and navigating. It's also useful to have auto key on, which I do, just to make sure that any changes you make actually stay in the scene. So I want to set this eye direction look left pose. There's the little description of what it is. If you hover over any expression, you'll also get a tooltip that adds a little more detail. And you can check this image next to each expression for reference if you're unsure still. So we'll just grab the eye controls, Move them to the left, and hit Finish Selected Expression. Pressing the Finish Selected Expression button will store the expression you just created in memory, and it also moves you automatically to the next expression. So I'll do that one next, which is Eye Direction Look Right. So I'll make that right. Hit Finish Selected Expression. It'll store it in memory. And we proceed through this whole list, all 45 expressions, in exactly that manner. So now I've gone through and created expressions for each one on the list. You can see as I scroll through them, the various expressions for the eyes, the brows, and the mouth. Notice that in the expression set list, all of them are checked on too. Any expression that is not checked on will not be used in the autosolve when using this character setup XML. You don't need to include every expression if you don't want, as not all rigs are capable of making every single one, and autosolve will still work. But the more that you can create, the better the autosolve result will be. So once I've finished all of them, and the ones I want to use are checked on, the final thing I need to do is actually save my character setup file by going up to File, Save. Now my character setup XML has an expression set in it, and I can autosolve with it. 
So that's pretty much all there is to it, but I'm very quickly going to show you the functions of the other two buttons on this expression set tab. The first, set to default, does exactly what it says. In the control setup tab, when you add your controls, you also set the default value for each control. In this case, for Victor, it's just zero, but in your case, it may not be. What pressing this button does is it sets every control to that default value on the frame that you are currently on. This is useful if you're unsure of whether or not your controls are in their default positions before creating an expression. So if I press this button, you can see the only thing that was active with the lips moved, but everything popped back to its default position, and now I can start fresh and create the expression from there. The last thing we'll go over is the Apply Saved Expressions to Scene button. And that's used if you want to go back and look at or otherwise adjust your expressions. You can see that I have a blank scene here with my rig. There are no expressions or keyframes set on it at all. So if I want to go back and check my expressions or fix them or alter them in any way, I can click this Apply Save Expressions to Scene button. What that does is it takes whatever expression is on each of these frames and adds it to the scene on that appropriate frame. So now, as I scroll through, you can see that all my expressions are back in the scene. So now I can pick one, say that, I don't know, I don't like this jaw open one. I can grab it and fix it and then finish it again, and save my file out, and now the jaw expression will be adjusted. This is how you'll refine your expressions to get the best result possible when auto-solving.